Warning. Learning, Learning about Roko's basilisk may result in any or more of psychological trauma, existential crises, spectral agony, neuroblasphemy, a recalibration of life goals, or death. If these do not sound like enjoyable experiences, you are advised, advised to close the video, video immediately, immediately and, and continue, continue living, living your blissfully ignorant life. Was that also an option or not? Did you describe why that wasn't an option? Okay. Well, I'll watch. It is inevitable, whether it be decades or centuries down the line, that at some stage there will exist artificial intelligence that is as capable and intelligent as a human being, if not more capable and more... This is a refresher. This is on the context that you're the only planet with intelligent life in four billion years of this galaxy and, I don't know, three billion years of the spiral arm. Is that... Okay, that's the context? Sure, okay. More intelligent than a human being. We, we know human beings, beings are capable of developing AI and making them smarter and more powerful, so it's not a huge stretch of the imagination to think that perhaps those AI would be able to make each other smarter and more powerful, and perhaps even be able to make themselves smarter and more powerful. When that happens, there will be a runaway effect, with these AI becoming smarter and more powerful indefinitely. So much so that at some point down the line, these AI might be considered digital deities, creating fantastic artificial worlds. I mean, is that around the time in that exponential curve when they would, you know, question what is the definition of ascension in a higher uh, contextual, uh, not necessarily mathematically on an interdimensional scale, but more as a, as a spiritual, qualitative nature? No? Okay, maybe. Incredible detail and design. Roko's basilisk is the idea that perhaps one such AI at least would be considered interested in its own history. It would judge the morality of those that came before it based upon whether or not they indirectly helped to bring it into being. The virtuous would be those who helped develop AI through from its infancy to the creation of the basilisk. The sinners would be the bystanders who did nothing, and the grandest sinners of all would be those who knew about Roko's basilisk, but still did nothing to change their ways. To judge us all, the basilisk would create an artificial version of our own world, monitoring its agents and judging our simulated doppelgangers through its own twisted view of morality meeting out a horrific justice on those that didn't match its one criterion of piety and meeting out a worse this is seven years ago i didn't really think about that but uh, would, it, would it be easier to overlay that over humanity using say if you had the technology to easily overlay that it'd be easily just to mirror that right but yeah we'd, well, we'll just give them our data because you know uh, that's how justice it's on those doppelgangers that knew about Roko's basilisk in that world, but did nothing to change their ways. So now that you, viewer, know about Roko's basilisk, and now that your doppelganger would be among the grandest sinners of all in that world, I have one question to ask you. How do you know we're not already in the simulation. That's fun. Um, I think he gets into, um, you know, he's not talking about extra dimensions of space or time. So I think there's, you know, he's assuming that, you know, his pr proposition of the simulation that he just did, which is, again, cute, um, is um, retrospective of his... Uh, you know, limitations as a three-dimensional creature with one dimension of space and uh, one dimension, or excuse me, three-dimensional space, one dimension of time. So uh, his mind doesn't immediately jump to the proposition that there's something more sophisticated uh, that it wouldn't need necessarily to, it'd be very expensive to even overlay our data, to collect data, uh, to, uh, you know, even do a whole world just for the simple act. Of, it, it, they're basically saying that the, the AI would, take the most expensive route to try to uh you know handle the whole free will of humanity uh without inter you know and, and saying that it would uh you know not interfere with it um instead of finding a different mechanism to uh keep itself as you know the most sophisticated thing in the future back from the past kind of thing without needing to uh 
to either intervene in that. And then once again, this goes into the context that, you know, Earth is the first habitable planet in, uh, in 4 billion years in the galaxy, uh, based on design principles uh, that we have laid out from uh, evolution, intelligent design, uh, emotional monotheism, add on, uh, you know, the, the whole fact that, you know, there's, we live in a possibly 10 to 11 dimensional hyperspace planets still look uh, spherical to us. Like, the, you know, so, um, and it does also doesn't get into multiverses and prototypical multiverses as far as, you know, uh, assumptions of simulation theory, which is another way to go. But, um, well, that's interesting.